and welcome to the history lessons in the Dupedia world. Today, continuing how was life for ancient Romans, we are going to stay with the town lesson. If you remember before, we talked about what were the elements for new foundation how did you create a new town or city in Roman, ancient Roman times? If you remember, if you can recall, we said that when you planned a new city, they always left one quarter of the surface for the forum. This is the public space where you'll have all the most important buildings. This square is where it'll be the central space for city life, where everyone will coincide. And this, came, this concept is, comes also from the Greek agora, that's similar, but Romans improved it and went on putting changes to it during the years. So what we're going to go today is go into what type of forums and what did they have. This central square in each town, why was it so important and what types have we had throughout history? First, we have to mention that the forum was always limited in a way or another, in some way. This doesn't mean that it had to be a closed enclosure, but there would be limits. It could be marked by um, trees, a line of trees, or even just a line of stones, but it had its limits because this was a separate sacred space, as we'll see. Generally, it was situated in a centric area of the town. It would normally have direct connection with the main gates through the Cardos Maximus, and the Decumanus Maximus, if you remember, the two main streets in the town. And obviously, it would be the busiest area you would find in a city. Its importance also relies on the fact that this place was where citizens would find every single element that created cohesion in this population. You would have religion, politics or commerce all in the same area. In Just to mention the exceptions, there has been some places where they have found maybe forums without the town, but it's just like finding a theater or an amphitheater that weren't tied to a city. It is very, very rare. And in many places of the empire, when they started building new settlements, they tend to put the forum in a previous sacred area. For example, in Druid, Druid cults in Celtic areas uh, or other pagan areas, it was common that when a new settlement was decided to be built there, they would put the forum in the same place, in this previous sacred area already. This way you integrated the belief system of 
the population that you are conquering. You weren't destroying completely or you weren't taking away the sacred places, in a way, yes, but you, what you did was integrated with different names. And this, we'll talk about it further with the religion, but this was a very good way, because it worked. And it's one of the elements in why Romans were able to construct such a big empire. But let's go to what we found in a forum. This is a map of modern day Rome. We're going to go to take the example of Rome. In this case, we'll go back to Pompeii, but we'll go and find the example of Rome to find the origins of forums and how they changed. Well, in the start, the Roman Forum is situated, is situated between the Mount of the Capitol, here, and one of the Palatine, Palatinum. At the start, yes, here, there were swamps that had to be drained. So we see the effort they made from really early stages to create this area. It was close to the roads, as you can see, and it was a meeting point between the nearby villages. If you were moving around the territory, you would have to go through this area. It was mandatory to walk past. From the very start, as you can see, it was a very, it was a great area to have markets. So you would have markets in the forum, but also it would have connections with the temple in the Capitoli Mount. Just here, this is a Capitoli Mount and they would have direct connections, so you would also always have this sacred area. The markets, as we were talking about, were made normally close to the river. You had a great range of options in this ancient Roman forum. You had farm animals, um, vegetables, you have bovarium, ortitium, piscarium, suvarium and pistorium. These are cattle, vegetables, fish, swines or pigs and bread and cereals. This market would have been the largest in the peninsula. It was also a crossroad from the sea and the mountains, as well as coinciding with many seasonal migrations, especially nomadic uh, movements for cattle, sheep, and different um, herding animals that you would have. So it's a perfect location. And obviously, not only it was perfect in this case for merchants and commerce, but this was the central area that helped the cohesion of the community. Here in uh, the Roman Forum, you had various important buildings. First, we had Regia. This was the ancient um, residence of the king that they had been 
and then it would be the residency of the Pontifex Maximus during the Republic years. Then the temple that we had here, one of the temples, was the Templum Vestae. The Vestals were virgin priestess uh, that custodied the sacred fire of Rome. That was the role. You also had the Comitium. Here, it's a circular building where the citizens would meet in assemblies. So, the political and social side reunited here. Then, you had the Curia. Here is where the senators and the representatives of the as assembly would meet up to decide in the affairs for the town or the state, well, or Rome. Another curious thing that we only find in the for Roman Forum, the first one, is a rostra. This was a tribune for orators and was decorated with war trophies. The main temple, though, was a temple of Satan. This contained the edarium, the treasure of the city. You kept the treasure in the temple. Then you would have the Lars Miger. This was a stone that actually has the oldest inscri inscription in Latin that e was ever found. And it talked about the sacred meaning of the emplacement. And on top of it, we have the tomb of Romulus. This is the tomb of the hero started the city. You can't forget about that first settlers, so they kept the symbolic tomb, a tomb of Romulus. And just to end this, really specific things to the first Roman Forum is that they had a central point. The central point called Mundus was considered the belly button of Rome, the center. These are all a list of buildings that you don't really have apart from the Curia. You didn't always have in other forums. These are specific to the forum in Rome. The importance of the shops that were situated in this point, in this forum, is quite curious because they started with various chaotic tavernae uh, from different ways of commerce but then by rule it was decided that they would only put silver workshops to improve the image of this forum to the outside world and to the citizens. So how the forum was, and we'll see in the next part, this was the image, this was the picture that anyone that was visiting the town would get because this is a place where you would go at some point because of all these important buildings. So for the honour, we would say, of the town, this area had to be impeccable. There are also different types of models of forums that we have and the Roman Republic forums that go from 509 BC to 27 BC, that's the Roman Republic area, we're going to use an example of obviously Pompeii because we have all the elements here. As always, so well conserved, we can see all the parts of this Roman Republic forum.
there were changes, various, but basically, as you can see, one is one one of the pictures is just a drawing to make it clearer, but you can perfectly see the different buildings in this high picture. So we have, if you look at the numbers on the drawing, on the map, you have number one are the civil buildings. So you had the offices, the courier. Here it was more judiciary, as we'll see. Second was the comitium that we've talked about before. Third is a basilica. This was political. Here is where you would meet for uh, the Senate would the Senate or the assemblies would uh, gather here. In the case of Pompeii, the temple was associated to Apollo. The god of music, arts, and various. Fifth, we look, it's, I know it sounds a bit silly, but it was very important to have one of those close by. Here we have a warehouse, but also a latrine. And close to the latrine, curiously, there was the treasury. <laughs> Number six, there's another temple. You could have various temples in the same forum. One would be the main one, but you could have wor you could worship various gods in various temples in the same place. That's a good thing about Roman religion. Number six is the Capitoline triad temple. What is this triad? Well, it's the three main gods that you find in Roman religion. First one is Jupiter, obviously. Second is Juno, his wife. And third is Minerva. But we will go deeper into those in the religion lesson. That's not what we're going to go into deep today. This was the main temple in Pompeii. As you see, it's in the center. The seven. Mm, could you recognize this? It's been shown in the other lessons. Previous lesson. Um, Machelum, does it ring a bell, this centerpiece and the option of shops inside and outside? Yes, it's the market. It's the main market of Pompeii. I'm sure you recognised the same type of construction. The eighth, it's not confirmed, they're not really sure, but uh, they think it must have been, maybe, <laughs> a sanctuary of the Lares. These are the local home gods that could vary from place to place. It would be logical as it's close to the market and you would always have a sacred part of the market dedicated to worshipping some god or deity. Then on the ninth, you would have the temple of uh, Vespasian. And in the tenth, you would have the building of Eumachia. And this was a priestess and the other uh, emperor. So you had various ways of worshipping. I have to say, the structure of the city had already existed beforehand. So to construct all of this, they had to expropriate 
some lands to be able to build this forum and this would is something quite common that sometimes they had already built some houses in the area that they wanted uh, to in sometimes just make the forum larger or in add something so they have to expropriate the properties and I think that this has not changed from Roman times to nowadays when the uh, sometimes just the more powerful or the local authorities decide they want to build something well whoever's in the middle goes out So this is how this forum was built. Also, before I forget, remember that in the marketplace you had the weights, the standard weights. In the case of Pompeii, they were kept in the temple of Apollo, actually. So you would not find it in the market. Keeping it in the temple makes not that much of a difference because all this area is considered sacred remember this this is all a sacred area and this is the first part of what kind of forums there were in roman times next lesson is going to be all about the specifics of forums in imperial times when there was the empire forums had a special meaning and that's why it'll have a whole lesson for it i hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you in the next